what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of x for which one all over three all raised to the x is equal to x plus four well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have a over b all raised to the n this is same as a to the n all over b to the n so we're going to be applying this to what we have here so that means this expression can be written as 1 to the x all over 3 to the x very good and this is equal to x plus 4. we all know that 1 raised to any power will give 1. So that means 1 to the x will also result to 1. Very good. All over the denominator, 3 to the x. And this is equal to x plus 4. Now our next step will be for us to clear the fraction. And we do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3 to the x so on the left i have 1 all over 3 to the x i'm going to be multiplying this by 3 to the x and this is equal to on the right hand side i have x plus 4 i'm going to be multiplying this by 3 to the x now notice that 3 to the x cancels out 3 to the x leaving behind 1 to be equal to on the right hand side we have x plus 4 times 3 to the x very good so now let's flip their positions so i'm going to write this on the left hand side which is x plus 4 times 3 to the x equal to and i'm going to be writing one on the right hand side it is still the same thing now our next step will be for us to multiply both sides by 3 to the 4. So on the left I have x plus 4 times 3 to the x. Remember I'm multiplying both sides by 3 to the 4. So I multiply the left hand side by 3 to the 4 equal to on the right I'm going to be multiplying the right hand side by 3 to the 4. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when I have, for example, a to the n times a to the m, this is equal to a to the n plus m. Very good. So we can apply this to what we have here. So this becomes x plus 4 times 3 to the x plus 4. Very good. Just as this property. And this is equal to 1 times 3 to the 4 is 3 to the 4. So now notice that e to the ln a is same as a. That means 3 can also be written as e to the ln 3. Because e to the ln 3, according to this property, will be equal to 3. Very good. So instead of writing 3, I'm going to be writing this. So this will be x plus 4 times 3. I'll write e to the ln 3. And this is raised to the x plus 4. So I'm going to be raising this to the x plus 4. Very good. And this is equal to 3 to the 4 is 81 very good now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have a to the m all raised to the n the law of indices says the powers multiply so this will be a to the m times n which will be a to the m times n is mn so now we're going to be multiplying these powers. So this will result to x plus 4 times 
e to the now let's multiply the power ln3 times x plus 4 will give x plus 4 ln3 very good and this is equal to 81 now i want to achieve something i want the exponent here to be the same as what is here that means i want to write this expression on the left to look like a to the e to the a because when i apply the lambert w function here on this type of expression this will result to a as a result so the main aim is for us to make what is here which is this expression here to be the same as what is here which is what we have here now what is the difference between what we have here and what we have here you notice that this x plus 4 is being multiplied by ln3 so we're going to be multiplying this x plus 4 by ln3 in order to balance it up very good so that means i'm going to be multiplying x plus 4 so x plus 4 by ln3 very good times e to the x plus 4 times ln3 very good so you see that I've multiplied the left-hand side by ln3, and I'm going to be doing the same thing to the right-hand side. So 81 times ln3. Very good. Now notice that what I have here is now the same as what I have here. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to also apply the same principle of making this expression here to be the same as what we have here. So that we can also apply the Lambert W function on the right hand side. Very good. So we have on the left x plus 4 times ln3 times e to the x plus 4 times ln3 to be equal to the right hand side 81 is same as 27 times 3. Very good. Times ln3. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm to what we have on the right hand side. The property of logarithm that says when I have P ln A, this is same as ln A to the P. Very good. So, from the left hand side, we have x plus 4 times ln 3 times e to the x plus 4 times ln3 this is equal to on the right hand side we have 27 times ln i'm writing this just like this property so ln3 to the 3 very good very good so this simplifies into the left hand side we have x plus 4 times ln3 times e to the x plus 4 times ln3 and this is equal to the right hand side we have 27 times ln 3 to the 3 is 27 very good so now let's apply this property on the right hand side the property that says when i have e to the ln a is equal to a so i'm going to be writing this 27 in this form that means e to the ln 27 will be equal to 27 that means wherever i see 27 i'm going to be writing this so this becomes x plus 4 times ln 3 times e to the x plus 4 times ln 3 very good this is equal to on the right hand side instead of 27 i'll be writing e to the ln 27 and then times ln 27 very good so this becomes x plus 4 times ln 3 times e to the x plus 4 times ln 3 this is equal to now e to the ln 27 times ln 27 is same as ln 27 times e to the ln 
27. So it is still the same thing. Now notice that on the right hand side, we have an expression that looks like this. A times E to the A. And this kind of expression, when I apply the Lambert W function to it, I'm going to be having the result as A. The same as the left hand side, I have an expression that also looks like this. So our next step will be for us to apply the lambda w function to both sides of the equation. So I'll apply the lambda w function to the left hand side, which is x plus 4 times ln 3 times e to the x plus 4 times ln 3. Now, I'll also do the same thing to the right-hand side. I'll apply the lambda w function to the right-hand side, which is ln 27 times e to the ln 27. Very good. Now, according to the function, I'm going to be having a, which is the common numbers. So, the common item here is x plus 4 times ln3. Very good. Equal to the right hand side, the common item there is ln27. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by ln3. So I'll divide the left hand side by ln3. I'll also divide the right hand side by ln3. So ln3 can cancel out, leaving behind x plus 4 on the left hand side equal to on the right hand side I have ln 27 and 27 is same as 3 to the 3 very good all over the denominator ln 3 very good so now let's apply the property of logarithm to what we have here that says when I have the log of a to the p this is same as p log a very good so this becomes x plus 4 equal to this expression just like this will be 3 ln 3 all over the denominator ln 3 so now notice that ln 3 can cancel out ln 3 leaving behind 3 we have x plus 4 to be equal to 3. And in order to get the value of x, I'm going to be moving 4 to the right hand side. So we have x to be equal to 3. And as 4 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 4. Very good. So making the value of x to be equal to 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Very good. So this is our final answer for x. So now let's check. Our given question is 1 over 3 all raised to the x to be equal to x plus 4. So we're going to check whether the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side using the value of x. So this becomes on the left I have 1 over 3 all raised to the x. x is negative 1. Very good. So this is equal to x on the right hand side, negative 1 plus 4. Very good. Now notice that this negative exponent here means that this is an inverse. So the inverse of 1 all over 3 is 3. Very good. And this is equal to the right hand side negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So we see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this is very correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, Take care.